Hi, my name's Paul. I'm General Manager of Lemkin UK. We've been working with Agri since 2010 now, looking at cultivation strategies for control of blackgrass. Uh, and we found very early on that the plough can be a very useful tool in the combat of blackgrass. Ploughing is a very slow, time-consuming and expensive operation on the farm. So today we're going to take a quick look around the plough to show you some of the optimum settings to make sure you're ploughing correctly. We need to obviously have the plough and tractor connected together and one of the first crucial points certainly uh, to make sure that the plough is level from front to back is to get the top link correctly set. So we extend or pull the top link in or out to make sure that when ploughing the plough is level front to back. Once we're in the field and ploughing, uh, one of the first settings that we need to make sure is correct is the front furrow width adjustment. This ensures that the plough matches uh, each, in each direction. So on, on our plough, uh, we adjust this outer ram to ensure that the plough matches correctly. So also to get correct depth of ploughing, we obviously need to make sure that the depth wheel is adjusted correctly. And this will depend on your soil type and the conditions that you're ploughing in. Uh, on this plough and today, we're ploughing at about, about 20 centimetres deep, but it could be anything between 15 and 30 centimetres. Once we have the plough working correctly, uh, it's, it's matching up correctly and we have the depth and, and have the plough level, we can do some fine tuning and one certainly for the control of black grass and to make sure that we're burying all the trash is to get the skimmers correctly set. So very easy adjustment on a simple pin for depth. Uh, we want to make sure that all of the trash is swept into the furrow bottom uh, with none left on top. So another final small adjustment of the plough to ensure that it's ploughing correctly is the, the wing stops to make sure that the inclination of the plough is correct. We want the plough leg to be working at right angles to the unploughed ground when the plough's in work. And a simple adjustment on both sides of the plough is just to adjust these stops to ensure that the plough is correctly set. So another crucial point of ploughing for black grass control is to make sure we have the correct body choice for the type of soil we're ploughing. So on this plough we run a, a slatted board, uh, we also offer and there are a, a wide choice of solid bodied mould boards as well but it is purely down to, uh, to sort of soil conditions to make sure we're doing the correct inversion for black grass control. Another important setting uh, when ploughing is to ensure that we have a hinge point on each furrow so the soil turns like a page of a book. You can do this to make sure that the wing of the plough is, is not as wide as the furrow width that we're ploughing and that way we ensure a soil hinge uh, on each furrow to ensure the soil turns correctly. Okay, one of the final adjustments of a Lemkin plough um, to ensure optimum working uh, for fuel efficiency and, and speed of use is the pull point of the plough. So we have our OptiQuick system where we can adjust the pull line of the plough to ensure that the pull of the plough goes through the centre of the back of the axle of the tractor to ensure a central pull.